The information presented in this video is for high-level awareness only. This is not intended to serve as training. Stratus configuration remains under development. Any features shown in this video are subject to change. This demonstration will show you how to create expense items within a report in Stratus. From your homepage under me, click on Expenses. Upon entering the system the first time, your screen will be blank. However, as you can see from my homepage, the screen will display expense reports across the top in the info tiles and individual expense items at the bottom portion of the page. You can enter an individual expense item by clicking on the Create Item button under Available Expenses. You can list as many individual expenses as you want, and then you can add them to an expense report later. However, for this demonstration, I'm going to walk you through creating an expense item within a report. An expense report can contain one or many expense items. We are requesting reimbursement for an overnight trip we took. Click on Create Report. You will begin indicating the purpose of the trip. Please remember to use the same title as the pre-approved authorization. And in this example, we're going to use basketball recruiting. You can indicate a comment, anything that you feel is necessary to support the expense. Use the drop down to indicate whether you are a US citizen or a non resident alien. Now that the header is complete, to begin adding expense items, click Create Item. You will select the appropriate date. In this case, it is January the 3rd, and we're going to select the template, which is out of state. And then we're going to select the type of expense. I'm going to demonstrate a basic expense, gas, because I had a rental car. Then you're going to indicate the location. The location is in Virginia Beach City. And you're going to indicate the dollar amount of the gas you purchased, 35.35. You can indicate a description, anything that you feel is necessary to support the expense, and to indicate the merchant, which is Exxon. This will help us down the road with reporting. Across from that, you can see the account field where the expense item is being charged. In this case, it automatically defaults to the home department. However, if you wanted to change it, you can click on the icon next to it and you would be able to select another department. If you had multiple departments down at the low in the bottom, you can click the itemization icon and then you could select another department. As for any receipt or expense, you need a receipt attached. So you're going to click here, you're going to go search your files, you're going to find your itemized receipt, you're going to click on it and select open. And as you can see, it uploaded the attachment. As with any overnight trip, pre-authorization is required and you must attach the authorization to the expense. Therefore, you're going to click on the plus sign, and you're going to go out and you're going to search all your authorizations. Now, you do need to pay attention because all of your authorization items are listed out here. And you need to pay attention to the location, to the date. So I did just find mine, basketball recruiting, gasoline, 3535. I'm going to click on it. As you can see, it highlights it blue. Click OK. And when we come back, you can see that the authorization was attached. So now all of my information has been completed for my expense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter save and close. So now we're back to the header of the report. If I had additional expenses, all that you need to do is create another item, for example, hotel. And then you would follow the same steps that I just went through in this demonstration. But for this example, we only had one expense and our report is now complete. Therefore, the final step is to read 
and accept the corporate travel and expense policies by checking the box. Then we're going to submit this report. The form has now been submitted for approval. It will immediately go to your supervisor, any cost center manager, and finally, the business travel office for audit and approval. You will be notified by an email and through the notification bell in Stratus if your expense report was approved or denied. And this is how you complete an expense report. For more information, please visit our website, towson.edu slash stratus.